One day, the teacher gave an interesting puzzle to the students to solve. She told them to suppose that there were only three seasons in a year, say summer, winter and rainy. Now, she asked them to denote rainy season in terms of summer and winter. So, what the students answered? They were clever. They said, the season which is not summer and not winter. So, that will give us the rainy season. Now, the teacher said, let us make this a bit difficult. Now, use sets to describe rainy season in terms of summers and winters. Now, what the students did, they named the summer season as set A and the winter season as set B. Now, they thought we can denote the set of rainy season in terms of A and B. Can you do this? Try to do this yourself. Now, let's see what answers did the students bring the next day. Now, some students brought this answer and said that rainy season can be denoted in terms of A union B whole complement. Now, some students, they argued that no, rainy season can be denoted by this answer, not that one. Now, there was an argument that rose between two sets of students. Now, some were saying that this was the answer. Now, some said that this is the answer. Now, the teacher said, let's check both, which was correct. What did she do? She took the first answer. Now, A union B whole complement. Now, let's see what answer will it give us. For that, let's see what is A union B. Now, summer is A and winter is B. So, A union B means summer and winter both. This is A union B. So, what answer have the children brought? A union B whole complement. Now, what is complement? A season that is not this or this. So, we get the rainy season here. This was A union B. That is summer or winter. And this is A union B whole complement. That is neither summer nor winter. So, they got the answer as rainy. Now, these students were very happy. They had got the answer correct. So, did the other students get the answer wrong? Teacher said, let me check that also. Now, the teacher said, let me check this answer also. That was A complement intersection with B complement. Now, what would A complement give me? A complement means the season that is not summer. So, A complement means season that is not summer. That is, it can be winter or rainy. Now, what was B complement? Season that is not winter. That is, summer or rainy. So, this gives me B complement. Now, intersection of both of these, what will it give me? This was A complement, this is B complement. What is the intersection between these? That is, what is the season common in both of these? You can see the rainy season. So, these students also got the answer as rainy season. So, we can conclude that A union B whole complement will give us the same answer as A complement intersected with B complement. Now, let's see if this comes true with numbers also. Here, we have a universal set which has natural numbers till 10. Here, A is natural numbers till 6 and B is odd numbers from 1 to 8. That is 1, 3, 5 and 7. We have also given you the Venn diagram for this. Now, you have to find out A union B whole complement. Do this by yourself. So, what is A union B here? A union B means this set plus this set. Elements that belong to either A or B or both. We will write A union B first. What will it give me? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 
we are not repeating the elements you know very well how to write union now what do we have to find out complement now you have already found out a union b here what is a union b complement the set of elements that is not there in this set see we have highlighted this portion for you this was a union b now the left over part is a union b complement so which elements can you see here so write it a union b complement will give you 8 9 and 10 now we'll take the second part that is a complement intersection with b complement so we take the same question and solve it what is a complement see the shaded part elements which are not there in this so you don't have to look at these elements see the left over parts that is 7 8 9 and 10 we got this now you have to find out b complement see we have again colored this part for you look at the shaded part b complement means elements which are not in b so do not look at b look at the remaining part so what is b complement 2 4 6 8 9 and 10 so you got b complement as well now what do you have to find out a complement intersected with b complement that is elements which are present in this set as well as this set now see which are the elements can you see in both of them well i can see 8 9 and 10 well in this venn diagram also you can see we have only highlighted the intersected part of a and b here so this is 8 9 and so what do you see a union b complement gave you 8 9 and 10 and a complement intersected with b complement gave you 8 9 and 10 so this holds true even for numbers so we got this true for seasons as well as numbers now you are already familiar with this expression we have solved it just now now what if i replace this union with an intersection and replace this intersection with a union will this expression hold true what do you think let's check we have the same question here let's see if we can do this a intersection b complement first of all we'll find out the bracket part that is a intersection b well you can see this is set a this is set b what will give you a intersection b this overlapping part you've done this so many times you're already familiar with it so 1 3 and 5 gives me a intersection b now what we have to find out a intersection b complement that means elements which are not there in this set see we have highlighted and shaded this region for you we do not want this again we want the elements which are not there in this so we want these elements now just state the elements looking at the venn diagram we have 2 4 6 7 8 9 and 10 so you get an answer now we'll see for the next part now what do we have to find out a complement union with b complement we have the same question let's check for a complement what is a complement set of elements not there in a don't look at this just write down the answer 7 8 9 and 10 so you get a complement now find out b complement now b complement is the set of elements not present in b we don't have to look at b now Look for the other part. 
we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 and 10. We have this, 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 this and this. Okay. What we have to do? Now we have to find out the union between these two sets. Now what is A complement union, B complement? See we have shaded this region for you. We have to unite this part with this part. Now you can see this part is not present in A complement also and not present in B complement also. So leaving this part, we have all the other part present in A complement union B complement. So by seeing the Venn diagram, you can easily write the answer. Except this part, write all the answers. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Right? So what we can see? A intersection B whole complement and A complement union with B complement gave us the same answer. So this expression also holds true. So what did we learn? For any two sets A and B, A union B complement will give us the same answer as A complement, intersection B complement and A intersection B whole complement will give us the same answer as A complement union B complement. Now do you know one thing? These laws are also called as De Morgan laws. So, we studied De Morgan laws so easily in these examples.